provided with dilute hydrochloric acid solution A, 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution B, 10 grams of a mixture of sodium hydrogen carbonate and sodium chloride per liter solution, centimeter uh, solution C. You are required to determine the morality of A, the percentage of purity by mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate. So from here, this statement, 0 0.1 molar sodium hydrogen, it means 0 0.1 molar implies 0 0.1 moles in a thousand centimeters cube solution B. That's what it means. 10 grams of the mixture. So this mixture, it is 10 grams per liter. So this mixture it, the, the mixture is 10 grams in one liter. Very important. Procedure one. Fill the puree with solution A. So in the puree, we have A, which is HCl. Pipette 25 centimeters cube of 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution B into a clean conical flask. Add two drops of methyl orange indicator. titrate with this and then record on the table so it is important for you to understand what's happening in the procedure so HCl is reacting with sodium hydroxide so that is a neutralization reaction so what is in the burette the burette contains HCl so the volume we have written in the table here it is the volume for HCl solution A this is HCl it is important for you to note that so that you avoid being confused. So calculate the average. The average you just add 13.5 plus 13.6 plus 13.5 divided by 3. The average is always given to two decimal places. That is 13.53 centimeters cube. Average is given two decimal places. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid solution A that reacted with 25 centimeters cube of sodium hydroxide solution B. Okay, angalia hapa nyuma, we don't have any information about the solution A. You see that? The only uh, information now we have is that 13.53 solution A, HCl, reacted with 25 that's the only thing we know. So for us to know uh, more information about A, we have to write the equation, which is now sodium hydroxide reacting with HCl. And this one forms sodium chloride plus water. The equation is balanced already because the ratio is one to one. Uh, sodium hydroxide used it is 25 centimeters. The morality here is 0 0.1 capital M. The only thing we know here is that we use it 13.53. And we are asking to get the number of moles of this solution. This is solution A and this is solution B. We are asking to get the number of moles of solution A. So for us to get that, first we need to know to get the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted with this because that's what we are sure. So we know that 0 0.1 is the number of moles in 1000 centimeters cube of solution B. We will ask 25 centimeters cube solution B that reacted with A will contain how many moles? That is 25 times 0 0.1, we divide by a thousand, and this one will give us 0 0.0025 moles. So this is the number of moles of solution B. So, but the mole ratio, the mole ratio, is one to one, meaning that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted with HCl are equal. Therefore, moles of 25 centimeters, no, sorry, the number of moles of 
0.53 cm cube HCl is 0.0025 moles because the mole ratio is is calculate the concentration of solution A in moles per liter concentration in moles per liter simply means calculate the molarity molarity of solution A calculate the molarity of solution A and what is molarity you should always know that molarity you don't have to write this but because I'm teaching you that's why I'm writing this one you don't have to write this morality is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube of a solution one liter so you need to know that therefore whenever you hear the word concentration in moles per liter it simply means calculate the morality. Fine. So morality is the number of moles in a thousand. Once you know that the divination now this one is easier. We have the number of moles of A in the volume that was used. So 13.53 moles as centimeters cube has got how many moles? 0 0.0025. Solution A. Morality is in a thousand, so we will ask a thousand centimeters cube per liter of solution A will contain which number of moles? That is now a thousand times 0 0.0025 divided by 13.53, and this one will give us 0 0.18. Or eight capital M that is morality or you can as well write 0 .0, 0 0.0 0 0.1 eight mole per liter that one is acceptable pipette 25 that's procedure 2 pipette 25 centimeters cube of solution C into a conical flask Titrate with solution A using three drops of methyl orange indicator. I recorded the, uh, the results in the table below. So this is our table. I have already filled the table. Always use one decimal place or you can use two decimal places consistently. Calculate the average. Now first understand what's happening here now. Solution A which is HCl is reacting with a mixture C. Remember the mixture C was sodium hydrogen carbonate mixed with sodium chloride. So the acid A will just react with sodium hydrogen carbonate because sodium chloride is a salt. So it is the acid will not react with a salt. The acid is going to react only with sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium chloride will remain as an an impurity. So mix we are going to write the, the write the ionic equation for the reaction taking place between solution A and the mixture C. But mixture C we know is sodium hydrogen carbonate mixed with sodium chloride. So a is HCl. HCl will only react with sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the reaction that will take place, it is sodium hydrogen carbonate reacting with A HCl to form sodium chloride plus water plus CO2. This is a gas, this is liquid, this is aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. Fine, but we were told to write ionic equation. We write the ions that forms uh, the liquid and the gas only, and not those that makes an aqueous solution. So here, 
it is from here we will have hydrogen ions hydrogen carbonate sorry hydrogen carbonate which will react with HCl, hydrogen ions from HCl to form water which is in liquid form plus CO2 which is in gaseous form and this is the ionic equation so you write the aqueous aqueous liquid gas this is the ionic so this is what you are required to write i have simply written step by step so that you can understand what to lakini kama hujaelewa vizuri mambo na ionic equations there is a video you can check on my channel there is a, you just search ionic equation reactions and you will get the video calculate the morality of sodium hydrogen carbonate in moles per liter so we have been asked to calculate the morality of sodium hydrogen carbonate so sodium hydrogen carbonate is reacting with hcl here but we know the morality of this and we know the volume of a that reacted now we, if we get the number of moles of hcl we will automatically get the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate because the ratio is one to one fine so we start by getting the number of moles that reacted the number of moles of hcl so a thousand centimeters cube of solution a morality this one contains 0 0.18 for eight moles where did i get this one in our previous we have a morality of a here this is the morality of a so that's what i have used so if a thousand centimeters of a is, contains these moles what about the a that was used here 12 12.5 centimeters cube will contain how many moles so that is 12.5 times zero 0.1848 you divide it by 1000 now this one will give us the number of moles and this one is 0 0.0023097 0, 0, uh, moles so this is the number of moles of HCl A that was used but since the mole ratio is 1 to 1 it means moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate will be equal which is 0 0.00230 0. okay let me write here it will be 0. 0.00 0.0209 7 this is the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate because the ratio is 1 to 1 but we were asked to calculate the morality morality is the number of moles per liter so this is the number of moles of hydrogen carbonate remember we pipetted 25 so the volume of hydrogen carbonate at solution c is 25 so this is the number of moles in 25 so you ask 25 centimeters cube he has 0 0.0023097 what about a thousand because morality is the number of moles in a thousand will it be what so you cross multiply like that and we get the morality will it be 0 0.0 let me use my calc first nine two zero nine zero point zero nine two three nine more that is the morality of uh, the next question is calculated the mass calculated the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate in moles per liter mass in moles per liter so we have been given that sodium is equal to 23 oxygen is equal to 16 so this is what was missing carbon is equal to this so how do you get the moles uh, mass in moles per liter mass in grams per liter 
I have given this triangle most of the time. So if morality is equal to mass in grams per liter divided by RFM. So if I want RFM, RFM would be mass in grams per liter divided by morality. We have the morality of solution C, this one. We have the RFM from here. So we write the uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate is written at N A H C O three. So this one, this is twenty three plus one plus twelve plus sixteen times three, and it will give us a total of eighty four. Right? And that is the RFM. So from this triangle, we know that we are looking for mass in grams per liter. Mass in grams per liter mass in grams per liter is equal to morality times RFM. Morality times RFM. Morality we have here 0 0.09239 times RFM which is 84. And this one will give us 7.76 grams per liter so that is one six one grams per liter so this is the mass of only sodium hydrogen carbonate next question calculate the mass of sodium chloride in the mixture our mixture remember it requires a sodium hydrogen carbonate plus sodium chloride and the total mass was 10 grams per liter but sodium hydrogen carbonate only has got 7 point that. So to get sodium chloride alone, it is 10 grams per liter minus 7.761 grams per liter of sodium hydrogen carbonate. And this one will give us 2.239 grams per liter. And this is only sodium chloride, which is an impurity. Calculate the percentage purity of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Percentage purity is equal to the mass over original mass times 100. So the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate, it is 7.761 divided by the total mass, which is 10 times 100. And this one will give us 77.61%. Kamul kume ulizwa the percentage purity of chlorine or sodium chloride unaweka mass yake which is 2.239 divided by 10 times 100. And you are done. Thank you very much. Share this video to as many people as you can.